Ultra or Fold in 2022? Let's find out. So these are the two best Samsung smartphones out right now, the S22 Ultra and the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel where I make content around tech, accessories, and gadgets, and my experience with it to try to help you out. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the Galaxy S22 Ultra with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, Samsung's two best big dogs. So starting off with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, this is Samsung's third generation foldable, and it's nearly perfect in terms of design and aesthetics. It has two displays, as we are all now familiar with. The first display is actually on the cover screen, the front of the phone. It's actually a really good display at 6.2 inches, and it has a 120 hertz display, which is just amazing. I, I really like the fluidity of this display paired with the inside display, but we'll talk about that later. It does have Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and the back, and it has a really awkward aspect ratio of I think like 25 by nine aspect ratio. So regular content will never really fill the screen. But speaking of content not filling the screen, let's get to the inside display. Now, this display is where it's really at. This is a beautiful 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED HDR10 plus 120 Hertz display. And like I said, it's beautiful. It also has an 88.8% screen to body ratio, which is, I mean, you can see this is basically all screen and we'll get to why in a second. But it has a pixel density of 374 pixels per inch. And remember what I said about content not filling up the screen entirely? Yeah, that's because this also has a really weird aspect ratio at 22.5 by 18. Yeah, it's super weird and you'll always have black bars on the top and bottom of the content that you're watching, especially if the content is like in that cinematic aspect ratio of 18 by nine it'll look even worse because there will be bigger black bars on the top and the bottom of the content. Now switching gears, let's talk about the S22 Ultra's display. This is a very beautiful display and if you thought that the Z Fold 3's display was really beautiful and nice, which it is, mind you, get ready for the S22's display. The S22 Ultra has a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display with HDR10 Plus certification, and it has an LTPO2 display, which means that it can go all the way up to 120 Hertz and all the way down to one Hertz instead of 10. And the S22 Ultra, I think has the brightest screen on any phone, at least on any flagship phone at 1750 nits, which gets plenty, plenty bright. It also has a 90.2% screen to body ratio, which is higher than the one that's on the Z Fold 3. And it has Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the front and the back. It also has a pixel density of 500 pixels per inch, and it has a more normal aspect ratio at 19.3 by nine. Listen, displays on smartphones have gotten so good, especially on Samsung smartphones that if you go with either one, you won't be disappointed. The viewing experience on both are really, really satisfying and super just beautiful to look at. So either one you go for will be a nice experience. But personally, I preferred the S22 Ultra's display because of the objectively brighter screen than the Z Fold 3. But at the same time, I prefer the Z Fold 3's display because it has a bigger display, but with a caveat that is basically plastic and it'll scratch pretty easily. So. In that sense, I prefer the S22 Ultra. See, you can go either way. So either way, you'll be fine. Similar to displays on smartphones, the processors have also gotten so good that you don't really need much for a smartphone anymore. So let's start off again with the Z Fold 3. So the Galaxy Z Fold 3 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor, which is a five nanometer processor, and it has an Adreno 660 GPU. It also has 12 gigabytes of RAM throughout. So whether you go for the 256 storage version or 512, you'll still get 12 gigs of RAM throughout. So the S22 Ultra being the newer device obviously has a newer processor, which is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, which is a four nanometer processor versus a five nanometer processor on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Again, the S22 Ultra being newer, it has an Adreno 730 GPU, but where the S22 Ultra falls short maybe compared to the Z Fold 3 is that if you get the base model, which is the 128 gig model, you only get eight gigs of RAM 
Otherwise, you get 12 gigs of RAM with the 256 version and 512. And this S22 Ultra can actually go up to one terabyte. But if you want one terabyte of storage, then you should go for the S22 Ultra as the Z Fold 3 caps out at 512 gigabytes. Okay, let's talk about cameras for both phones, starting off with the Z Fold 3. So the triple camera setup on the back houses a main shooter, which is a 12 megapixel f1.8 26 millimeter shooter, along with a two times telephoto 12 megapixel f2.4 52 millimeter shooter, accompanied by an ultra wide camera, which is also 12 megapixels with f2.2 with a 123 degree 12 millimeter field of view. And the triple camera setup on the back can shoot up to 4K at 60 frames per second. As for the front facing camera, the cover screen has a front facing camera of 10 megapixels at f2.2 with a regular 26 millimeter field of view. And this camera can shoot up to 4K 30 frames per second. While the under display camera is a 4 megapixel f1.8 shooter and it can record up to 1080 30 frames per second. And you should really only use this under display front facing camera for nothing more than video calls because it's just complete trash. But the Z Fold 3 does have a trick up its sleeve which is that you can use the cover display as a viewfinder when taking photos and videos with the main triple setup camera which is awesome. Now the S22 Ultra has a quad camera setup, which might be overkill for some, but for others like myself, it might be the perfect thing. So the main shooter is a 108 megapixel f1.8 23 millimeter lens, and it's great. It's amazing, it's detailed, it's perfect, and it's so well balanced. It's much better than previous Samsung phones. And if anything, it's a close second to either the iPhone or the Pixel, depending on which one you choose. Now it also has a three times telephoto at 70 millimeters, which is a 10 megapixel shot at f2.4. And you know, this is the regular telephoto that we've seen on other phones. But what we haven't seen on many other phones is this 10 times telephoto periscope sort of camera. Now this is also a 10 megapixel shooter at f4.9, but it has a focal length equivalent to 230 millimeters. That is insane. This 10 times telephoto camera is honestly, in my opinion at least, the most fun to play with next to the ultra wide camera, but it's just so much fun. You can zoom into so many things and, and retain such granular details. It's amazing what you can do with this 10 times telephoto. I just mean taking photos of like crisp objects, you know, text, and maybe even of the CN Tower when you're, you know, right next to Union Station. And now the fourth camera is the ultra wide camera. And that one is a 12 megapixel f2.2 at 13 millimeters with a field of view of 120 degrees. Now the S22 Ultra can actually shoot up to 8K at 24 FPS, which is insane also, but I wouldn't recommend it because it punches in a little bit. So I personally would just stick to 4K 60 or 4K 24 or whatever. But if you needed to, it can go up to 8K 24 FPS and also it can shoot in HDR 10 plus. Another trick up its sleeve is that it can shoot super slow-mo video at 720p at 960 FPS. Now the front facing camera also impresses here with a 40 megapixel shooter at f2.2 and the regular field of view of 26 millimeters. It can shoot video up to 4K 60 FPS and the best thing about this front facing camera, the best feature is that it has autofocus. Now let's talk battery. Now this is an aspect of smartphones that still has a little bit of competition with it. So the Z Fold 3 has a 44 milliamp hour battery, which is apparently smaller than the last one, the Z Fold 2 and it has fast charging, fast wired charging up to 25 watts. It can also fast wireless charge up to 11 watts and it can do reverse wireless charging up to 4.5 watts. Now the actual battery life is not the best as you can probably expect with this huge 7.6 inch display and is very bright and also powering this front display. It just has a lot going for it and 4,400 milliamp hours just doesn't cut it. You can make it through the day, but it's really, it's really hard to do so. So it gets a job done at 4,400 milliamp hours, but you might have to charge it up in the middle of the day or something like that. That's just a compromise of having a folding phone in 2022. Now the battery of the S22 Ultra is actually the same as last year of the S21 Ultra at 5,000 milliamp hours, which is actually quite impressive considering that they fit 
a whole S Pen inside this phone. It also has fast charging up to 45 watts and fast wireless charging up to 15 watts. And it can also do reverse charging up to 4.5 watts. Now the actual battery performance of this phone is, well, of course, superior to the Z Fold 3, but it's still not as good as something like the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which has been my daily driver for the past six months. So coming from the iPhone 13 Pro Max and using the S22 Ultra, it's not bad, but obviously I'm used to having like almost a two day battery life champ. So this can definitely get you through one whole day, but I would be a little bit concerned about the S22 Ultra getting me through two days. If you really want to, you can get it through one and a half days, but probably not two days. So it's a good battery, definitely better than the Z Fold 3 but still not as good as the Battery Life Champ, the 13 Pro Max. So now just miscellaneous details about these two phones. Um, the S22 Ultra weighs in at 229 grams, which is pretty heavy for a phone of this design, but the Z Fold 3 being an, like a half tablet weighs in at like 270 grams. So of, of course it's a lot heavier than the S22 Ultra. And the Z Fold 3 was released in August of 2021, whereas the S22 Ultra was released this year in February. Both phones have stereo speakers, just a little bit differing in terms of the implementation of those speakers. And the Z Fold 3 has an IP rating of IPX8, which means that it's not dust resistant like at all. So don't go to a beach with it this summer, but the eight means that it is water resistant up to 1.5 meters for six minutes or something like that. And the S22 being a traditional, you know, glass slab unibody phone, it has an IP rating of IP68, which means that it is dust resistant. So you can take it to the beach and like, I don't know, bury it in the sand or something, which I wouldn't recommend. But if you want to, you can. And the eight again means that it's water resistant up to 1.5 meters for like six minutes. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 has a side fingerprint scanner on the power button and the S22 Ultra has an ultrasonic under display fingerprint scanner. And like I mentioned earlier, the S22 Ultra has the addition of the S Pen, which by the way, makes sense for this phone. I don't know why they called the S Pen for the Note. It was a Note, not an S. So the S22 Ultra has an S Pen. Now it makes sense. But anyways, the S22 Ultra has the S Pen now built in with it. And you might be thinking, well, the Z Fold 3 has an S Pen too, right? Well, it does, but unfortunately it doesn't even come in the box or anything and, and definitely doesn't come built into the phone. So it is an extra $50 accessory for the Z Fold 3, but yeah, you're right. It does have an S Pen support. So Ultra versus Fold, what should you get in 2022? Well, I would always recommend to get the newer device because it'll be supported for longer and it obviously has newer features, newer processors, and it's just overall superior or it should be. But depending on what you want and what your lifestyle is like, you might wanna go for the Z Fold 3 if you want a bigger display and you, your primary device is a smartphone and you don't have, have a tablet or something like that. Then I would recommend going for the Z Fold 3, especially if money isn't an issue and if you're watching this debating between getting an ultra phone, the latest and greatest from Samsung or a flip phone, a folding phone from Samsung, then I don't think money should be an issue. But definitely do keep in mind that the Z Fold 3 will be a lot more fragile than the S22 Ultra just because of the folding design and the fact that it's not dust resistant. So any dust particles can get through and it might damage the hinge. And also the display, it's basically made of plastic. So the scratches and stuff like that, it'll be so much more prominent on the Z Fold 3 versus the S22 Ultra, which has a glass Gorilla Glass Victus Plus display, which means that it just won't scratch as easily as it will on the Z Fold 3. So that's something to keep in mind, fragility. So this has been my experience with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the S22 Ultra, and this has been my video comparing the two. So Ultra versus Fold, let me know what you'd pick in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe to see more. And share this video with your friends and family or anyone who you think is debating between getting an S22 Ultra and a flip phone or a folding phone. Again, if you enjoyed, definitely leave a like and below that like button, let me know, would you pick Ultra or would you pick Fold? I would personally go for the S22 Ultra just because I prefer a conventional, you know, somewhat boring design with definite like trustworthy specs and features like this display for example it won't scratch as easily or this camera it'll 100% get me the shots that I want so I would probably go for the S22 Ultra but the choice is yours all right I'll see you in the next one bye